Good morning, Advanced A&P students. This is a quick overview of our course to show you how to get around on our Blackboard page. So the first place you need to go is to sign out of Blackboard. So there's a little in the upper right hand corner of Blackboard. Once you're signed in, there's a little uh, sign out region. I'll show you where that is actually. I'll just quick sign in. So right here, click on this log out toggle and once you do that you'll be into the sign in page and over here in the lower left is downloading Respondus Lockdown Browser. So you click on this blue link here and the first thing you need to do getting started in our course is you need to download this Lockdown Browser and this is what you're going to use to access Blackboard when you're ready to take a quiz using the webcam. So if I click on that it's going to start the download process. So I'm going to click on install now. And once I do that, what's going to appear on my desktop then is this icon right here that says Lockdown Browser. So you can see that. It says Lockdown Browser. So if I click on that, it's going to take me to Blackboard. And then I'm going to sign into my class just like normal. And I'm going to go to my folder and I'm going to find my quiz and I'm going to start my quiz. So anytime you're taking a quiz, you can't just go to Blackboard the traditional way. You have to go to Blackboard through the lockdown browser icon. Sometimes people forget and they use the, the regular browser to get to their Blackboard course and then it asks them for a password. There is no password on any quiz in our course. The only time it's going to do that is if you didn't enter through lockdown browser. So be sure you click on this, have it downloaded to your laptop or, or device, and use this to access any Blackboard quizzes. All right, I'm going to just go to regular Blackboard now, so I'm going to not use the lockdown because I just want to show you our Blackboard course. And I'm going to go to Current Students. And go to Blackboard. <coughs> and I'm already signed in, so that makes life easy. I'm going to go to our class, which is Advanced ANP for 20 Fall. <coughs> so, here's our class. So, any announcements I make for the class are in this first tab here. So, this just shows you I have a Zoom, a live Zoom meeting for anybody that wants to come in and ask questions or, or just have a chat. Um, I'm free and available at noon today on Tuesday, September 8th. Just click on that link. Um, any other announcements? Like here I'm talking about uh, Pearson homework. Um, just you need to get that access code going. I'll talk about that. Um, the assignments tab is where you'll go every week. This has um, your what's due. This is where the <coughs> bulk of the material for the class is located. So the first thing you're going to do is do a Flipgrid video post. So if I click on Flipgrid it's going to ask me to enter <coughs> excuse me I have a dry throat this morning it's going to ask me to enter or join with a Gmail pass a Gmail email or a student email so I recommend everybody join with Microsoft because you know you have a student email if you're able to enter Blackboard so click on the join with Microsoft and then just enter your email and then you're into our class and then you'll see the topic where you, I ask you to introduce yourself making a short video so some people will download this onto their their laptop or computer as well as onto their phone because it's really easy using the Flipgrid app to record videos on your phone and that way you can be a little more mobile and if you want to you know watch some of the other videos while you're you know sitting in the passenger seat on the road or sitting at on break at work you can do that so I recommend both I have it on my devices and on my phone so that's the first assignment just introduce yourself you will get points for that so be sure to do it and then I have um, our first folder and it's not going to show up for you until you complete the webcam quiz but once you do this first folder shows up there's a lab video a lecture video there's um, interactive quizzes for you to work on and then homework at the Pearson website so if I click everything you need to do for the week though is listed right here numbers one through six there's no way to miss anything you know students get stressed out and rightfully so worrying that things are all over blackboard and they don't know what they have to do you don't have to worry about that because everything that's due I have listed right under the folder I have what it is and the due date listed right next to it so if you can check all these things off you know you've done everything for the week 
So you want to click on this folder to enter it. That way I can find everything that's listed. So for lab, there's going to be lab homework and a lab quiz. So if I click on this, here's an interactive lab quiz. This gets you ready for the official lab quiz that requires a webcam. and You cannot look up notes. You have to know the material. So if you take this interactive lab quiz, you can take it over and over and over. Once you score an 80% or higher, then the actual lab quiz will appear. And then this is the one that is worth the most points. So this is worth some points, but this one is worth the most points. So you want to really do well and feel comfortable when you do this interactive lab before you get to the actual lab quiz. And beneath that are the lab videos. I made a Kahoot game to help you prepare for the lab quiz. Um, there's an animation there, and then there's some worksheets that are part of your lab packet that has the answer key. So you can fill out those worksheets, see how well you understand the material, and then you can check your understanding by looking at these answer keys. So that's kind of nice. So that's the lab. If I go back to our folder, and I'll show you the lecture. I always recommend doing lab before lecture because lab sometimes has just an introduction to the structures and then lecture is a little more in-depth looking at the function of those structures. So here's the, the Pearson homework. So you'll have um, homework every week for lecture that you'll do at the Pearson website. And then there's my video going over the material and animations. Here's a Quizlet to get ready for the lecture quiz. And then here's the actual lecture quiz. So you'll take this first one here. It looks like there's two, but this one is hidden. So this is the one that you're going to take. And you'll take that quiz, again, using the webcam. So before you can click on this, you have to go out, click on Lockdown Browser, enter Blackboard that way, and then go to this quiz. All right, so let's talk about this Pearson <coughs> access code. So I have a title here, go here with your access code. So if you've purchased the access code from the bookstore, um, you can call them and purchase it online and then they'll email you the access code. So you don't actually have to go down to the bookstore to get this access code. Or if you, and the, the benefit of getting it from the bookstore is you can charge it to financial aid. The drawback about going to the bookstore is it's going to cost you a little bit more because of the handling and processing of that access code through the bookstore. If, um, if you're not going to charge it to financial aid, you can go right here to the tools menu and you can purchase the access code for a textbook through our website for Pearson. So you're going to click on Pearson. It's the green icon. And then click on the Assignments tab and then it's going to recognize that you don't have an access code and then it's going to lead you down the path to purchase one. So it's going to tell you either to enter an access code you already purchased or it's going to allow you to purchase one. So you have some choices now. And here's the big thing. You have to decide if you want a textbook to come with your access code. Personally, if I was giving advice to my children, which my daughter and I just had this conversation because she just is starting at Western, she wants to go through the nursing program, what I recommended to her is to buy just the access code. So that gives you access to the homework that you need to do for points. So definitely purchase the access code. But buy a used textbook from Amazon or some other source and you can save yourself a lot of money. So our author for our textbook is Mariab. M-A-R-I-E-B. And if you go as far as the 10th edition, the cost of that book really goes down. And the 10th edition is, is a good edition. It's not, um, you know, you want this one, the yellow one, or there's an even lower one. We'll go down one more even. I'm going to go down to the 9th edition. If you want to go f that far down, that's a good textbook too. Not a lot of major changes, but you want to make sure it's the right one. So it's the brown one here. This one, um, you know, it's really expensive here to buy it, but if you look at other sources, you'll be able to find it for a lot less than $300. So here's one here. Hardcover, 119 You could even find it cheaper than that. I, I saw it a lot cheaper. So that was the ninth edition. If you go to like eBay, I find sometimes you can get pretty cheap textbooks there. Let's see, go to ebay.com. And you can just type in the title of the book, Miriam Anatomy and Physiology, Physiology, 9th edition. I 
found some pretty low cost textbooks here. Yeah, so there you go, 30 bucks. You can have a nice hard cover A&P textbook that you can use um, all semester. And it's helpful to have this in the nursing program as well because you're gonna have a lot of anatomy and physiology and sometimes those nursing textbooks don't really um, go into a lot of detail but they expect you to know, you know the basics of A&P when you get into the nursing program with every body system that you go through covering the, de the diseases of the, of the system. So this brown one is a great one to have um, as your own textbook. Or maybe you have a friend that took the class, you know, use their textbook. But you want to have the access code. You've got to have that access code because that's how you're going to get the homework. So when I go to my assignments here again, I click in this, um, go into our first folder, the lecture homework is where that Pearson access code is going to be needed. So it's right here. It always has the little orange square in front of it. That's the Pearson homework. You click on that and it's going to take you to the lecture homework. And then also here in this access code, there's a study area. You can go and take practice quizzes and practice tests. It's just a really nice little tool for reviewing material. But don't spend time going into things that aren't part of our class because you know, you'll be busy enough. But um, this will just be nice for understanding you know, the material. So there's not a lot here but there's a lot of uh, nice tutoring videos covering DNA replication and, and all that so it's a nice um, tool and the, the homework is a nice review. So that's that. Now let's go to the bottom one that says webcam testing setup. So you need to use a webcam for a class that is to prevent anybody from looking up answers and taking this as an open book course because it's not an open book course for the lab and lecture quizzes. We want you to know the material. So um, it talks about the access code. We talked about respond as. Here's your quiz. So just read through the descriptions of what you should not be doing when you're taking a quiz. For example, you can't be on lying down on a bed or a couch. You can't take it in a dark room. You got to have make sure there's no windows behind you. Avoid backlighting. Make sure there's not people walking through the room. Um, move the camera very slowly when you're doing your scan and do not wear headphones or earbuds while taking the test. So um, just some basic rules. When you're ready to do that, make sure you click on this quiz. So you take the webcam quiz and you have to have 100% in order to take regular quizzes in our in our course. So everybody has to score 100% on this webcam quiz. Again, you're going to have to click on the, the lockdown browser to access this quiz. Um, and then it'll set you up from there. So you don't need a microphone, but you do need a webcam. All right, so um, be sure to read through the syllabus. Um, our class is pretty straightforward in terms of every week. You know what to expect. You've got Pearson homework that's due on Friday. You have a lecture quiz that's due the following Wednesday and a lab quiz the following Tuesday. So I always give people more than a week to prepare for those lab and lecture quizzes. So it never is a situation where people don't have time depending on their work schedules because you have over a week to get those materials in. So here's our course syllabus, kind of just talks about everything for the class. We have a couple assignments for the class that you have to cover. Um, we're going to talk about a diet report, a nutrition study, and an immune poster. So those are the three major um, assignments that we'll be going over for the semester. And then this is just a layout of the topics each week that we're going to cover over those 15 weeks. Um, the lecture quizzes, like I say, are always due the following Wednesday by 10 p.m. after the week they are assigned. And the lab quizzes are due the following Tuesday by 10 p.m. after the week they are assigned. And you have to get an 80% or higher on that interactive lab activity before the lab quiz will appear. You have homework that's due on Friday of the same week they are assigned. And then we had those three special assignments, the diet report, the nutrition study, and the immune poster. And you'll be doing those in pairs or groups, so that's kind of nice. And you're allowed one lecture exam that you can retake. Let's say you goof and you just need help and you need to retake a, a test. You're allowed to do that with one test. And then you're also allowed to make up a missed test. So let's say you've missed a deadline or you were ill or you were at work and ran out of time. Um, you can make up one test. Um, course policies is, again, you can, we're going to use a webcam. Um, there's a lot, you're allowed to retake and a makeup. 
and most of your grade comes from the tests, either closed book or proctored tests. And we have eliminated the time constraint for questions. So um, you'll have, you know, you can use extra time if you need to. Most students have no trouble with a one and a half minute per question average, <clears throat> so that won't be a problem. But that is that has been removed for this semester. So this just talks a little bit about me, what you can expect from me, and as an online student, what I can expect from you, and um, just a little bit about the COVID-19. That the rest of these are all kind of college-wide policies, so you can go ahead and read through those. Um, if you have any questions about anything, if you have any special needs for the class, just let me know and I'd be happy to work with you. There is a lecture notes packet. I highly recommend you take this to a print shop, call ahead to that print shop and make sure you know what to expect. Print it black and white, double sided, three hole punch it. Oftentimes they'll let you print it at the print shop yourself. So if you don't use their staff to print it, you're going to save yourself a lot of money. So just take the, the file on a, on a flash drive and print it off yourself using their copier and that's the cheapest way to get the, the packet. Then you'll have everything you need for the semester right there for lecture you know, in that notes packet. You can highlight, take notes, underline. It's really a good deal to have that ahead of time. And then we have a lab packet and the lab packet has all the things you need for lab as well as the worksheets for lab to help you prepare for the lab quizzes. The worksheets are not for points, they're for you to practice and get ready for the lab quizzes. So that is in the lab packet and this can be purchased in the bookstore. It's uh, ten dollars, really cheap. So again I think it's a lot nicer to not have to print these um, piece by piece throughout the semester. Just have it all printed right at the beginning and then you're ready to go. So that's ten dollars and it's in the bookstore. You can call and order it online and they'll, and they'll ship it to you. It costs a little bit for shipping um, or you can just drive by and pick it up. Either way um, it's really important to have. So the lecture packet important and the lab packet. Very important to have printed off at your fingertips for writing notes on and highlighting. And then the access code, I already talked about that. Um, if you get there and you, you use a different method of getting into there, some students do, and they ask you for a course ID, the course ID is listed right here. But here is your link to the bookstore if you want to order through the bookstore. Um, again, this access code includes the e-text. Um, that's an online text. This one includes a hard copy of the textbook. It's your choice how you want to do it. Um, Again, you can order just the digital access code through the Pearson web website if you go to the tools menu and then you can just order that used copy of the book from eBay and that's the cheapest option if that's what you're looking for. But that is everything that you need to get started in our course. I will have a live Zoom meeting at noon today, Tuesday, September 8th. If you have any additional questions or you want to just pop in and say hi, um, I will see you at noon via our Zoom link and the link for that can be found under the announcements tab right here. Just click on this Zoom link and I'll be there at noon to say hi to everyone. So good luck with all your classes if you're taking more than one. I look forward to working with you this semester. I look forward to watching all the Flipgrid videos and have a great semester.